There's a link between coffee and diabetes, spicy food and longevity. There's also a link between Arizona's divorce rate and death by lightning strikes, and between cola consumption and car accidents. Fortunately, the word link doesn't mean much in science. Unfortunately, most people don't know them. Correlation does not imply causation. Scientists remind us of this often, and we nod like we understand them, but it pays to really know what those words mean, especially if you're trying to understand a scientific study. Because you can correlate just about any two variables in the world if you twist the numbers just right. Almost every food-related study lures you into this trap. One recent paper reported a link between spicy food and long life, after scientists found that people who ate spicy food more often tend to live longer. Several major publications covered the incredible link between chili peppers and longevity. Turns out that the fountain of youth is in a bottle of sriracha. But even the scientists who ran the study felt they might have stumbled onto a correlation, not a causation. See, the study was conducted in China, where spicy food is often a status symbol. It's likely that people who eat spicy food also have more money and better access to healthcare than people who eat bland meals. In that case, it's likely money, not spicy food, that causes long life. Let's run an imaginary study borrowed from the Spurious Correlations blog to help us understand how we keep on getting burned by bad links. Here is some national data on the number of people killed by venomous spiders between 1999 and 2009. And here's the number of letters in the winning word of the script's national spelling bee over that same time period. There's a link! But you know spelling bees don't cause spider bites, and we certainly shouldn't advise scripts to start quizzing kids with shorter words to prevent spider attacks. It would be ridiculous to make a policy decision based on this data. It's just a correlation. Now that doesn't mean there aren't any robust correlations out there. The link between cigarettes and lung cancer, sugar, diabetes, unprotected sex, STDs, there are also correlations, robust correlations backed up by decades of careful research. But when you see a new study that suggests an unlikely link, more often than not it's a correlation that does not even remotely imply causation. And if anyone tells you otherwise, that's junk science.